Hello, my name is Maxim Yudin. I and my team produce a steel tone drum called Pulsar. And here on this channel we talk about our workshop and musical instruments. We have just finishing uh, another great instrument and it is an amazing chromatic pair. And I will now explain all the details. I am often received questions about chromatic scales and requests to create such instrument in chromatic scale. When I conceived a pulsar in 2016, I wanted to make an instrument for people like me, musicians, who don't like boundaries. And the first problem uh, I encountered was the limitation of keys in one single instrument. As you may know, any uh, tongue pan or hand pan has a certain number of notes, usually about eight or nine notes on one single instrument. This is largely due to the physical dimensions of the instrument body, as well as the size of the tone fields themselves. From the very beginning of the hand pan creation, especially with the one art hung in 2001, the makers did not intend to the add more notes to the instrument. This is because, primarily, it's a percussion instrument. In simple words, a drum. It was meant to be played by hands, taping rhythm with the hands on the central note called a ding. The surrounding notes were to the adding color to the sound in a specific mood rather than a playing a complex melodies. This is why many manufacturers uh, still label their instruments like a 7 plus 1 or 8 plus 1 and so on. Some even omit the ding as a note. So the scale labeled like a 7 actually has 8 notes. But that is not important for us now. Another architectural aspect of the hang is zigzag arrangement of knots around the central ding. This is related to the crosstalk. Crosstalk is the mutual excitation of neighboring knots. Science, our instrument is an ideophone, meaning it's produced sound through the, its own body vibration. The vibration of one note spreads to the neighboring knots. Knot fields communicate with each other in a way. This is a big issue, but fortunately it's also a big joy. In music, to uh, differentiate the pitch of the note, we use the concept of an interval. For instance, between the notes C3 and D3, there is a one-tone interval. On the piano, there are two white neighboring keys. If we sound these notes together, we hear a dissonance. This is dissonance is difficult to perceive. On the other hand, between the notes C3 and E3, there is a two-note interval. And if we listen to this, we hear a pleasant sound combination called third. Now imagine if our dissonance between this C3 and D3 is very close on the instrument. When we play one of these notes, the crosstalk occurs, exciting the neighboring notes, and we will always hear this unpleasure dissonance. This is why a simple and elegant solution was adopted. The spread small intervals as far as possible from each other, and the notes are arranging in the zigzag. But if we completely isolate uh, the notes from each other by some magical means, all notes on the instrument will sound dull and lifeless, because they uh, want to support each other. As known from physics, vibration of the same frequencies reinforce each other when combined, and making the sound louder. This means not with the same harmonics will support each other even if they are on opposite ends of the instrument. Let's go back to the chromatic scale. Any modern musical instrument, with a few exceptions, can produce sound with any intervals within a given range. In practice, 
This means that even within an octave range, something I believe anyone can sing, you can play any melody in any key and any chord in any key you want. This is technically impossible if a musical instrument can only produce sounds of specific intervals. But how can we place at last uh, 12 notes? This is so many intervals within one octave on a single instrument while avoiding unwanted crosstalk. And I found some interesting solutions. Firstly, after a series of experiments, I concluded that it should be a pair of instruments, not a single super mutant instrument. Secondly, there are only two options for arranging notes on the instrument. The first option is quite complex, but more correct uh, from the perspective of the professional musicians. It involves a pair of instruments with diatonic scales and a half-tone offset between them. A diatonic scale is a scale where the interval between all neighboring notes is equal to wall tone. Such a pairing instruments allow to play all keys, all chords, including a complex seventh chords, dominant chords, and all this just stuff. However, this instrument only works as a pair. The drums sounds very strange and cannot be used separately. Additionally, this pair requires a rather intricate learning process and skill to play. Fortunately, I have a second option. The one we have here. It is a pair of instruments with white and black keys. That is, the one instrument is tuned to the Ionian mode from B2 to E5, which is 18 notes. The other instrument is tuned to the pentatonic scale from B flat 2 to E flat 5. This way we have a full chromatic scale from B flat 2 to E5, which is a 31 notes almost two and a half octaves, and that is already substantial. Moreover, these pairs of instruments sound great separately. Unfortunately, due to the layout of the song intervals on the different instruments, we won't be able to play certain complex uh, charts, which could pose a challenge for professional musicians. As of now, I believe this is most a successful solution for achieving a chromatic scale on instruments like a steel tone drums. So all that's left is to send this great instrument to the Switzerland to the owner and await a great music play on them. Please subscribe to my channel. Next time I will talk about the scale editor on our website. Give it a like, leave your comments and questions under the video. I will definitely respond to all of them. And thank you very much and goodbye.